Hi everyone, welcome back to Computing Millions. So today we're going to be going over commands and RPCs, which are the most important part of Unit in order to start synchronizing your full game and being able to actually create a game. So how a setup normally looks is you have a host and you're going to have clients. So you can either use a CMD, which is a command, or an RPC, which is a on our PC. So what a command does is it allows either one of these clients to send information to the host. So let's say this client in the middle here wants to send its name so it's going to use a CMD to send the information up. And then now these other two clients don't know what that information is. So now the host is going to use an RPC to send that information back down to each one of the clients and now each one of your clients are synchronized and the host is synchronized and everyone has the same name of this one client. So now let's actually do this in Unity. So first we're going to create a player script called player and we're going to add it to our cube which is our cube object which is what we're spawning in when the uh, server starts. We can't add on here. And we're going to open it up. So, first thing we have to do is using Unity Engine dot networking. That just tells Unity that we're importing the uh, networking components and all that stuff. And we have to change this to network behavior. I don't know why. So first thing we're going to be doing is a command. So in order to create a command, we have to do square brackets, type in command, and then now we do a function. So we're going to go void cmd. Make sure the prefix is cmd, or else it will not work. And we're going to do change, or let's let's do send name. string name and so what we're going to look at it was uh, on start we're going to look if if the um, current player is not the server so is not is server then we are going to do a cmd send name and we'll do banana so essentially what this line does right here is it checks is the um, current player the server or not so if it isn't the player, uh, the server then it's going to be a client and they're going to send the name so then in here we're going to use transform dot name is equal to name so what's happening here is if this is a client it's going to call the function the command function and it's going to send its new name in here. The name is then going to be passed in through here and then on the server you can do anything in here. So I just chose to change the transform.name equal to the name that was sent. So let's save that and build it out. And then we'll start up a host here and we will start up a client here so now when when this loads when this client joins it's gonna say oh I'm a it's gonna look my server no I'm not so then I'm gonna command send name and I'm gonna send the name banana so now if you look in here you'll see that uh, this player's name has been changed to banana now the problem is, is if we were to stop this and do it opposite, so we connect there as a client and host here, um, the client doesn't know what its name is because it's sent to the host, so it's changed on the host, but it's not sent back to the player or the client that sent it. So in order to fix that, then we're going to use the RPC. 
So in square brackets, we're gonna do, we're gonna do client RPC. I'm gonna go void um, RPC. Make sure you have that prefix or else it won't work. And we'll do update name. Let's do update name. <clears throat> and we're gonna pass in a string name. So now we're gonna change this because we don't want just the host to be setting the name. We want the host to send the information to all the clients after. So we're gonna take out this and replace it with RPC update name. And what are we gonna be passing in? We're gonna be passing in the name that was sent. So what's gonna happen is is the client is gonna send the information to the host and then the host is gonna send it back using an RPC to all the different clients. And then on the clients, we're gonna change the name equal to uh, whatever the name was passed in. So now we're gonna build it out once again. And we're gonna host here. We're gonna host on this one and we're gonna join as a client and you're gonna see that now this one has the name banana because what happened was is the client sent it out to the server and then the server relayed it back to all the clients so the clients were able to get the update of the name. Um, so we're gonna try the same thing but we're instead we're gonna do position now. So let's create a new command. And we're going to call this void uh, RPC send pose, which is just going to be position. And the value that we're going to be using is going to be a vector to position. So then. After that, we want to create an RPC. Oh. Client RPC. Um, and we're going to go void. Oh, wait, no, I didn't do. Make sure this is command. Not RPC. Void RPC update pose. Okay, so now from here, so we're going to check, is this person a client? So if they are, then we're going to do CMD, send pose, and we're going to send a new vector to, which is just a position, which is going to be an X of 3 and a Y of 3. So once this is sent from the client, then the server is going to get it, and the server is then going to RPC that information back to all the clients so it's going to pass in pose and that position is then going to be sent out to every single one of the clients and the clients transform dot position is going to be equal to the new pose that was sent from the original client so first you got to build that out So now, we host here and we join as a client. You can see that the client's position was updated to 3 comma 3, and if you look on the server, the position was also synced to 3 comma 3. So now that you understand commands and clients, you can really do anything. You can sync ints, you can sync pools, you can sync positions just like I did, strings, you can pretty much sync any type of variable that isn't too complex, any of these standard variables uh, with commands and client RPCs. So thank you for watching, make sure you hit the subscribe button and hit that notification bell so you can get more tutorials.